Hey, don't touch that! Not unless you think you're tough enough to track down the man I'm hunting. Everything I know is in that logbook. I'd find him myself if I had the money to get back on the waves. But for now, I'm just another landlubber selling tours. Ah, Captain Capsize. I see you've already settled in and started making friends. I don't want friends. What I want is someone willing to drag that pirate pretender back to reality. Then he can have a long and meaningful conversation with the sole of my boot. Which won't happen unless you take the time to explain our situation. A while ago, I invited a pirate named Guy Brush Threepwood and his wife Elaine to celebrate their honeymoon here on the Sea of Thieves. You mean a fraud named Guy Brush Threepwood? Though I'd also accept liar, imposter, figurehead thief. Guy Brush accepted my invitation, but his ship never arrived. After a while, I began to fear the worst. So I began making inquiries in the Sea of the Damned. And found me stuck there, sailing in circles in my old glass-bottomed boat. Something that looked like it anyway. A memory of yours made real by the Sea of the Damned. In that realm, people and places from long ago can come back to haunt you, mingling with all the hopes and dreams in your heart. I fear that Guybrush has become trapped in memories of his own. Memories of a distant pirate sanctuary known as Melee Island. If he is not rescued, he will remain sealed in a dream world for all eternity, surrounded by fragments of his past. That is why I have asked Kate to recruit pirates who are both willing and able to broach the Sea of the Damned and save Guybrush. And then everybody here will see what a pathetic dope he really is. It's a good plan. Think they can pull it off? I believe they can. Kate learned of Guybrush's whereabouts, but was never able to reach him. You will be sailing into uncharted territory. On Melee Island, things may be very different from the Sea of Thieves you know. Which is why you should take my logbook. But don't lose it. Once Threepwood has been rescued, I'm going to make him eat every last page. You should keep an open mind, Kate. Out here, enemies can enter the same tavern and depart as friends. When it comes to Guybrush Threepwood, I don't need an open mind. Only a closed fist. Well, don't just stand there. Sail through that archway and find Threepwood. The logbook I gave you has everything you need to know. I'm Kate. I'll be your captain. Come back when we're open. Welcome to Caps soon. I'll get back on the waves.
Dear Diary. Wow, what an incredible end to an amazing adventure. I outwitted the evil pirate LeChuck, crossed an avalanche, kinda, and lived to tell the tale. Even better, Elaine and I finally got married, and all of our friends were there too. I don't think we've ever been happier. Now all we have to do is set a course and begin our honeymoon, sailing on the Sea of Thieves. To get there, we have to pass through the Devil's Shroud. Elaine says it's no big deal so long as we follow the map, but I don't know. I miss seeing the stars. I had the nightmare again. I wake up in our cabin. Elaine is gone. And at the end of my bed, LeChuck is there, laughing at me. It's crazy, I know. I left him buried back on Monkey Island, but... Why does it feel so real? I can almost hear the laughter. But when I did get back to sleep, I had a very different dream. I was back where it all began, on my quest to become a legendary pirate. Back at the start of my very first adventure.
Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. My job, that's what. I'm the official lookout of Melee Island, appointed by Governor Squinky Thriftweed himself. It's my job to keep an eye out for storms, incoming ships, and so on, and report them directly to the governor. <laughs> well, usually it's guards nowadays. Your ship. No offense, but that's barely a rowboat compared to the sort of ships made famous by the legend of Monkey Island, the Sea Monkey. Well, now that was a ship we're talking about. A fearless crew, a gallant captain, and the largest cereal supply you've ever seen. Eh, I don't so much care for chatting with the folks in town. Most of them just sit around telling tales about the legend of Monkey Island. I just as soon tend to my fire and stay out of trouble. But if you're looking for excitement, you should stop by the scum bar if you haven't. Here's a little free advice though, chum. Stay out of the way of the governor's guards. I no, no, I know they may seem harmless, but... Nope, I don't trust them. Not one bit. You what? A ship, you say? Ooh, this could be serious. Eh, uh, what's with this useless thing, anywho? Yikes! Don't... Hey there, stranger. New and <laughs> That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. Why, this is the world famous Melee Island, of course. Home to some of the filthiest robes and rascals you'll ever cross paths with. Though if I were you, I'd not stray too far beyond the village. The weather's taking an awful turn tonight. A stranger could get lost in that pea soup. Oh, plenty of places to spend your pieces of eight. 
Though I'd wager most will be closed at this hour. Except maybe the general store. That old skinflint never sleeps. Then there's the old jail, the church. But if you ask me, there's nowhere better than this very pub. Why not sit for a spell and soak it all in? Well, I am a pirate, but alas, I am not a captain. Truth be told, I haven't been out on the waves for many a month. It all began when that LeChuck business forced us back to shore. Once, he was the terror of the Caribbean. Roaming the seas on his fearsome ghost ship until he was scuppered by the legend of Monkey Island. Who, oh, not what? Who? I'm talking about the most fearless felon to ever don a captain's hat and sail straight into the waiting maw of death itself. Guy Brush Threepwood. Once we heard what had happened to LeChuck, most of us pirates chose to retire. There's no point trying to compete with the legend of Monkey Island. Well, I am a pirate, but alas, I am not a captain. Truth be told, I haven't been out on the waves for many a month. It all began when that LeChuck business forced us back to shore. Once, he was the terror of the Caribbean, roaming the seas on his fearsome ghost ship until he was scuppered by the legend of Monkey Island. Who, oh, not what? Who? I'm talking about the most fearless felon to ever don a captain's hat and sail straight into the waiting maw of death itself. Guy Brush Threepwood. Once we heard what had happened to LeChuck, most of us pirates chose to retire. There's no point trying to compete with the legend of Monkey Island. Our governor is none other than the legend of Monkey Island himself. He keeps this whole area prosperous for his fellow pirates. His mansion is on the other side of town, but pirates aren't as welcome around there as they used to be. Because the governor's a busy man, that's why. Caught up writing his memoirs. It's the most pre-ordered book ever published on Melee Island. Come to think of it, it's also the first book ever published on Melee Island. But that just makes it even more exciting. I'm buying nine copies. You should talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. If you're to stand any chance of seeing the governor, they can tell you where to go and what to do. My name is Mancum Seepgood. The what of who? Never heard of it. Now I've sailed as far as Dinky Island, but Melee Island is a place to be nowadays, thanks to the governor. Now that you're here, you should relax and take a load off. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Maybe not on this sea of thieves you're so proud of. But in these parts, we prefer a beverage with a little extra kick to it. Kerosene, red dye number two. If you're brave enough to try some for yourself, we usually sneak ours out of the big barrel in the kitchen. You can join us in a toast to the legend of Monkey Eye.
Yikes. Don't screw up. A ship, you say? Ooh, this could be serious. Hmm. No sign of anything yet. the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic, stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. <laughs> I... Leave me be. I'm too thirsty for small chop. Try that again, and you'll be joining the devil for supper. Is that fresh meat I spy? Crumble, mortal, before the mighty skulls of scum. It's been longer than a rat's tail since I last set my sockets on a would-be pirate. Though I can swear we've crossed paths before. But never mind all that. You'll be here to undertake the three trials, I'll wager. The three trials! <laughs> Aye, that takes me back. I want to be a mighty pirate. Where do I collect the hat? Well, if you're here to prove your worth to us, too bad. We're no longer in charge. Aye, what would be the point? There's not a pirate who want to be alive who could hold a candle to the legend of Monkey Island. No, please, not the speech again. The mightiest pirate ever weigh anchor! Scourge of the Caribbean, terror of the Tri-Island territories, master of a thousand insults! A man who could hold his breath for 60 minutes! Governor, Governor Guy Rush Threepwood! Ah, all that toasting of the governors made me thirsty. 
Time for some more grog. Grog, 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 grog. What be ye wanting? Now that's the sort of question I'd expect from a pirate wannabe. Melee Island is pretty much wall to wall rogues and scoundrels. Granted, more than a few folks have retired from a life on the high seas and taken up other lines of work where they can. But pretty much everyone you'll rub shoulders with has flown the Jolly Roger at one time or another, and none of us are ashamed to admit it. Why should it? Governor Threepwood is in charge now, and there's no pirate more lawless, lethal, and larcenous than he. The days of being clapped in irons by the local sheriff are long gone, and it's all thanks to the legend of Monkey Island! What's the matter? You got seawater in your ears? Let me spell it out for you. Governor Threepwood is our legend of Monkey Island. He's been everywhere, seen it all, and stolen most of it. Adventures the rest of us can only dream of. The only way you'd be considered a true pirate is if the governor himself declared you to be worthy of following in his footsteps. Ah, oh, you think so? You can't just stroll up to the governor's door and challenge him to a spitting contest, you know. But there is one way. A man in town can be your ticket to an audience with the governor, but his help surely won't come cheap. They say it lies east of here, but its exact location is a great mystery to all but the chosen few, including the governor and his wife, Elaine Marley. The whole of Monkey Island is surrounded by a strange mist that makes sailing there a treacherous prospect, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh, really? Well, most folks tended to avoid the place once the ghost pirate LeChuck began to use Monkey Island as his pirate lair. Only the governor was brave enough to bring together a crew and make it all the way to Monkey Island to rescue his beloved bride. It's just one more reason he's held in such high regard. But I don't suppose even he knows every secret the island has to offer. I assume you mean pieces of eight? That's the currency we trade in here on Melee Island, not gold or other such nonsense. The cook could have been persuaded to take you on, but he's already hired himself a new assistant, so you're out of luck there. Well, I'm sure if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll spot a few stray pieces of eight lying around that nobody will miss. Of course, a real pirate would notice more nefarious opportunities to fill their pockets. Pirate leaders have pretty much staked a claim to this room. I can't think of anyone who'd want to argue with that. From here, they dispense wisdom to wannabe pirates. Back again? You're persistent, I'll give you that. Decided to chance your luck with the governor's guards, eh? Well, you can't miss the place. Head up, through town, and through the archway below the clock tower to find a cliffside path that'll take you straight to the governor's doorstep. 
<laughs> you might think so. But the fact of the matter is that the guards will turn you away unless you got an official invitation. Now, I don't know where you'd go about acquiring such a thing, but there's one particular citizen whose specialty is finding what you need. You mean purveyors of tea, silks, that sort of thing? We don't allow them to operate here on Melee. The pirates gotta eat, though, so we do take in shipments of goods from other islands. One of them sank at the docks just the other day, in fact. Ha! <laughs> what do I look like, a merchant? All I know is the governor keeps this place running just fine. We're never wanted for supplies. If you're peckish and low on funds, you could always find a fishing rod. See if you can't catch some supper that way. Each of us underwent the three trials way back when and became mighty pirates when it was still possible for mere mortals to succeed. But since you ask, I'll let you in on a little secret. The trick of being in charge is to make yourself look important. That's why we took the best table in the house for ourselves and lined ourselves up here, all official-like. Well, there's no need to be like that about it. There's plenty of other pirates who wish they thought of it first. Ah, pay him no heed or he'll talk your ear off all night. Claims to hail from somewhere called Sailor's Grave, wherever that may be. Only when he starts up with a shanty. I never heard such a tuneless, talentless assault against the performing arts. He claims it's the best he can do on account of lacking a full set of vocal cords. But if you ask me, he's just doing it for the attention. Back so soon? You they say the name Scum comes from a language invented by one of the first and most influential pirates who dreamed of us all sharing a common speech. Some called him a genius, others a maniac. His knowledge and wisdom was passed down at a prestigious institute known as Scum University. Who can say, if it hadn't been for the drive and vision of those pirate pioneers, we might not be standing here today making such polite conversation. Tests by which a pirate might prove themselves worthy of the title. There were three to be faced, spread across Malay Island. Trouble was, once word began to spread about the legend of Monkey Island, and all that he'd accomplished, the trials looked pretty feeble by comparison. That we did, but no matter how dangerous, deceitful, and despicable the trials became, not one of them held a candle to the governor's heroic deeds. Eventually, nobody could manage to complete the trials, and the whole system was abandoned. Better to seek the governor's blessing He may not look it, but Governor Threepwood has the strength and stamina of ten men. He's the champion of both our caber-tossing and spitting contest. And when it comes to his skill with a blade, his insults have flummoxed the sword master herself. Aye, that's a trick you'll get to learn if and when the governor judges you to be a worthy pirate. A devastating witticism delivered at just the right moment can throw your opponent off balance. We pirates have our pride to consider after all. Elaine Marley was her name, back before she became Mrs. Elaine Marley Threepwood. 
Few could win her heart back then, though many pirates tried. She was a fine leader, and just as fine a match for the legend of Monkey Island. Though there's one pirate who thought otherwise, and let Chuck was his name. That's putting it mildly. When Elaine invited him for dinner, LeChuck was instantly smitten and vowed to do whatever it took to marry her. Needless to say, the legend of Monkey Island wasn't about to stand for that. It ignited a bitter feud between the two of them. Ah, but that was a long time past now. Makes me all misty-eyed just to think about it. What business do you have with us now? Speak up! I am Murray, the demonic talking skull. All pirates hear my name and tremble. Ha! Pay no attention to that blowhard. He left his marauding days behind, along with his body. At least I can remember my own name, not like some other skulls I could mention. And one day I shall return to the waves to unleash a new reign of chaos. Sure you will. But for now, we provide what you might call the in-house entertainment. Telling jokes, hurling vile insults at pirate wannabes, and enthralling folks with tales of skullduggery and misdeeds. I'm just here for the insults. You stink, ugly. <laughs> We're still workshopping some of our material. I am no mere decoration. We are the esteemed Skulls of Scum, stars of the most disreputable tavern on Melee Island. Ay, this be a place so foul, even the roaches have to hold their breath. The floorboards are rotten, the tankards are rusty. And half the customers will run you through just for the fun of it. What's not to enjoy? In all my centuries, I've never found a better place to hang my head. <laughs> Excuse me. I've got something in my eye hole. Oh, don't you dare start blubbering. You can be so embarrassing sometimes. Well, maybe that holds true somewhere like the Sea of Thieves. But pirates in these parts hold themselves to a different standard. Time was, you could earn the approval of the pirate leaders here by completing their three trials. But that was then, and this is now. The only way they'll respect you is if the governor himself declares you to be a worthy pirate. <laughs> Good luck with that. Threepwood's not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. His guards keep things running smoothly. Of course. What could happen to the legend of Monkey Island? If you ask me, he and his missus are off on some grand adventure. And if you ask me, Threepwood's gotten himself locked in a closet somewhere. And good riddance. Just ignore him. If anyone knows how to meet the governor, it'll be that set of salty sea dogs over yonder. If you've yet to do so, you should go and say hello. Aye, that they be. They've got their own pirate lord nowadays. And his name is Governor Guybrush. Uh, I told you not to use his name. It gives me a toothache. You'll have to forgive Murray. He and the governor had a falling out a while back. Something to do with a missing arm. Missing? It was an act of theft and wanton dismemberment. And one day, I shall exact my demonic vengeance. Of course, these gullible fools may think of him as a legend, but I am not deceived. I have spent years plotting my retribution. However, the customers and I have formed an eternal bond. They will never let me leave, not unless someone can provide a replacement. That's for kids.
kitchen staff only. Hey, you shouldn't be back here. Because it's the rules, that's why. Customers stay out front where they can't mess everything up. Oh, um, right. Well, I guess you can look around. But don't touch anything. I'm trying to work on a signature dish. I want something fiery and hearty. Tough, yet tender. Just like the legend of Monkey Island himself. Too bad I'm still missing one of the ingredients. Meat stew. When I can find the time to spice the meat, chop the veg, and add the special ingredient like I was told. Sure enough, the lady from the mojo shop stopped by before the governor's guards closed her down with a box of root beer sprinkles. She told me to add them to the grog and anything I cook to provide us all protection against insidious supernatural threats or something. Don't know why, but I hate to see good grub go to waste and they don't taste half bad, so into the cooking pot with them. Can't help you there. I've just hired a new assistant and they should be starting today. Assuming they show up for work. Don't know what the delay is all about, but I hope they remember to pick up their uniform from the general store. I've had it reserved all week. Of course it matters. Cooking's a messy business and you need to look the part. I just hope they get here soon. I'm rushed off my feet as it is. Soon as they arrive, I'm going on my break. Yeah, in the barrel. But don't think you can just go helping yourself. It's the expensive, extra-strong Governor's Special Reserve. I got a batch of it in stock in case the legend of Monkey Island ever stops by for a drink. Think of all the tourists he'd attract. But you need a strong stomach for the stuff, or he'll be out cold before long. Anyway, forget about all that, and don't touch anything. Oh, I remember my first visit to the scum bar. It was noisy, filthy, and I immediately felt like I was in mortal danger. The kind of place I always wanted to belong. These docks sure are pretty. You get a great view of the ocean. From here, I can see the spot where Sheriff Shinetop tried to drown me. Thank you. 
This unfriendly character handles some of the more unsavory deals on Melee Island. He's a useful guy to know. I wonder where he got that fancy coat. Sorry, but these items here, they're display models, not for sale. Hey, it's not my fault these Legend of Monkey Island action figures are hot property. My latest shipment got sunk down at the docks just as it arrived. Oh, then you need an exclusive Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet ticket, one of which I just so happen to have. Only one in existence. But I can tell just by looking at you that you can't afford such a sought-after item. Maybe we can work out some kind of deal. Tell you what, if you can bring me my missing cargo, I'll not only give you the ticket free of charge, I'll be able to sell you some other mementos. Deal? Deal. Now, get going. You lost? Well, then you come to the right pirates. We know pretty much everything that happens here on Melee Island. At this time of night, well, probably the only place with an open kitchen would be the scum bar. But good luck getting inside. The chef's a real stickler for the rules. If you're not the new assistant cook he's hired, you aren't getting anywhere near the cooking pot. Well, you could try begging a gunpowder gummy off of one of the governor's guards. But it might be the last thing you ever chew. <laughs> ah, up by the island lookout, no question. There's a pathway that leads to him just outside of the village. If the weather weren't so strange lately, you'd be able to see all the way across the island. Not much reason to head up there, though. Unless you're planning to swindle a few pieces of eight out of the lookout. Ah, up by the island lookout, no question. There's a pathway that leads to him just outside of the village. If the weather weren't so strange lately, you'd be able to see all the way across the island. Not much reason to head up there, though. Unless you're planning to swindle a few pieces of eight out of the lookout. Yeah, then you're in luck. A ship full of valuables went down in the harbor here not so long ago. Of course, even if you could find a way to raise its cargo up out of the water, you'd need the proper tools to crack it open. Some parts of the town are still being renovated. Who knows? Maybe you can swipe what you need. <laughs> oh, those poor doggies. <laughs> I can't help it. There's just something about these guys that cracks me up. <laughs> well, it's very sad, actually. The governor's guard dogs get tormented by the guards, you see. They've lost all the fire in their little bellies. I bet if they scarfed down a hearty meal, they'd soon be back to their nasty old selves. <laughs> of course we do. My favorite is the old top-up trick. What you do, see, you wait for your shipmate to get distracted. Then you pour some grog from your tankard into theirs without them catching you. They'll be snoring before you know it. That's when you sneak away and leave them to foot the bill. <laughs> Let me guess. Another pirate wannabe looking for easy answers. Well, let me tell you something. We love pirate wannabes looking for easy answers. <laughs> I highly doubt it. The governor hired a man to wind the mechanism, but most days he falls asleep in the scum bar and forgets. 
He's going to lose the clock tower key one of these days, and then, well, I suppose not much will actually change around here. It's always grog o'clock. <laughs> of course we are. Salty old pirates through and through. But on Melee Island, that's to be expected. Most folks don't bat an eyelid at day-to-day -day skullduggery and the occasional keel hauling. Now, the really rotten apples, they get taken to the town jail. <laughs> that old place has seen better days, though. I'm amazed the walls haven't collapsed. They say the governor hired someone to fix up the place. Last time I saw him, he was having an argument with the guards. Some kind of pay dispute. They didn't want to. Eventually, they dragged him away and there was a ruckus. Lots of screaming and falling and such like. The poor sap never even got to pack away his tools. Uh-uh-uh-uh. I don't think so, stranger. This ain't Wally's Dav Map Shop no more, and that means it's off limits to the likes of you. And since I don't see no uniform, and you also look like you're alive, I'm thinking that means you ain't exactly a guard. So sing your hook! Ahoy there, fancy pants. Keep your hands off the display cases. I just polished them. Well, all my wares are right here on display, save for the reserve stuff. Feel free to browse around, but don't touch anything. You don't suppose correctly. I deal in pieces of eight, just like everybody else here on Melee Island. And before you ask, no, I don't offer credit. Find me some silver or you'll be going home empty-handed. Nice try, but I don't think so. This is a general store, not a pawnbroker. Well, money's still money no matter what time it is. Besides, leaving your store unattended on an island full of pirates is usually considered a bad idea. You have no idea how many swords, shovels, and other nautical accessories I had go missing when I was out running my errands. Now, there was a time when I might have taken a moonlight stroll to go and see. Wait, wait! That's nobody else's business. Ruff! Oh, so you're the new cook for the scum bar. Nice job burning down that cargo ship. Well, the costume was never paid for, so if you still have a job to go to, you'll need to settle the bill. Now, you best hurry before somebody else makes me an offer. Uh, there's a chest over there you can use to change clothes. Free of charge for paying customers. <laughs> what? Turn my back so you can pocket whatever's in my safe? <laughs> you must think I was born yesterday. The only general store on Melee Island. The storekeeper gets a little paranoid around pirates. Then again, I did kind of break into his safe once. Maybe he's got the right idea. A 
that's the rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Ultimate Collector's Edition. It's modeled on the famous contraption used by the legend of Monkey Island. Sold out right now, though. Now that's a special order. Some kind of cook uniform for the scum bar. Probably just a big apron and a silly hat, I expect, but I want rid of it. Are you buying? Those are fuses. You just put one end in something explosive, you set fire to the other end, and you put your fingers in your ears. Try not to blow yourself up, Ben. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Wanna see something hilarious? There's a pack of piranha poodles in this alley that can't stand the sound of this thing! Watch! Oh, what's the matter? Can't you reach your lovely pony kittens? That's enough, you mangy mutts. Go lay down. I said that's enough. We guard the governor now, not you pathetic pooches. So get used to it. Now move along and don't start any trouble. I'm on break. It's an alleyway. Not too glamorous, but I guess they have their uses. This one seems oddly mysterious.
Are you a visitor? It's been so long since I've had anyone but Captain Coco to talk to. Oh, there was a little misunderstanding after I came back from Monkey Island. I came in a little too fast and smashed up the jetty pretty bad. But it wasn't my fault! You ever try to sail a galleon crewed entirely by monkeys? They emptied out my bananas, ran off, and left me to take the blame! Sure have, but it's okay. I'm good friends with the legend of Monkey Island. I was even on his crew once. I'm sure he'll be along to let me out, just as soon as he's finished his important, uh, you know, governor stuff. Yep, any time now. And it's not like I'm alone this time. Captain Coco and I keep one another company. If he didn't have me to talk to, he'd have lost his mind by now. Where? Oh no, <laughs> that's Captain Coco. He was my first mate on our journey back from Monkey Island. Say hello, Captain Coco. Hello. Oh, it's simple. Captain Coco and I met back when I was stranded. Our monkey crew didn't trust me back then, so he was my only friend. And we've been inseparable ever since. Hey! I don't know how it is where you come from, but eating your shipmates is not okay. I'd sooner go back to snacking on rats. That would be great! But I don't know how you would. The sheriff has all the keys, and I haven't seen him since the governor's guards moved in. I don't know, Otis. Those locks look pretty rusty. I bet you could blow them wide open. That is a great idea. Captain Coco, you are a certified genius. Oh, shucks. You say the nicest things. Good luck. Cause too much trouble and you might end up in prison. There's not much to do here except count the rats. My pal Otis seems to spend a lot of time stuck down here.
Hey, that's my cargo. I thought it'd be fish food by now. Looks like I'm back in business.
This meet and greet ticket will get you an audience with the legend of Monkey Island. Only one in existence, but I'd say you've earned it. And where do you think you're going? <laughs> yeah, you and everyone else on the island. The governor's mansion is off limits to anyone who hasn't got an official invitation. Especially on... If you can't show me something to prove you're expected, you can turn right back around and skulk off like all the other pirate wannabes. Clear? And where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah? Let me see that. Uh, seems genuine. Funny, I thought we'd gotten rid... Uh, there. I booked you in for the next available session. Come back and speak to my colleague after the clock strikes midnight. <laughs> like that'll happen anytime soon. That clock tower hasn't worked in years. Ahoy there, fancy pants. So you finally decided to show up, huh? Well, you can make yourself useful and start on the meat stew. The recipe's on the table. I'm going on my break. Don't let the customers touch anything, especially not the grog. Thank <laughs> you. 
Casual conversation can wait till I've a full tankers in me hand.
Oh, what a view. That big church is where I came face to face with the dread pirate LeChuck in his true form. Good thing I had a secret weapon. And where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah? Let me see. Uh, seems genuine. Funny, I thought we'd gotten rid... Uh, well, only one thing for it. <laughs> there. I booked you in for the next available session. Come back and speak to my colleague after the clock strikes midnight. What the...? Uh... Well, the, the, the thing is... It's, uh, uh, shift change. Yeah, that's right, shift change. I can't let you through, because then my colleague, who is unfortunately delayed, would take the blame if anything happened, see? Sorry, but until my replacement arrives for an official handover, you're staying here.
Ahoy there, fancy pants. After all these years! Ah, the smell of the sea, the touch of the moonlight! We are free, Captain Coco! Mwah! Hooray! Now we can do all the things we ever dreamed of! Travel the world! See the pyramids! Open a furniture store! Well, I mean, not that. That's pretty silly, but we can start over, build new lives for ourselves! Like running a furniture store. Hey, enough with the furniture store. I didn't spend all that time locked up just to collect chairs. I want to have an adventure. And I want to sell nested mahogany tables at affordable prices. Hey, that's stupid. You're stupid. You know what? Fine. Stay here and have your stupid furniture store. I hope it makes you happy. I just, I really, I thought we were friends.
You must think we were born yesterday. You'll need to do better than that to fool us, Bone Brain. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I was just getting comfortable. Although, if this is about getting to Threepwood, I'm in. I've got a score to settle. But first, I'll need some kind of body. But not just any body. A magnificent body, worthy of bearing my terrifying demonic countenance on a new campaign of terror and destruction. <laughs> It's so tranquil, so pleasant. I hate it. Ugh, what is that terrible stench? Oh, right, the customers. Know what that moon reminds me of? Death and destruction. Thank you. 
If it were up to me, they'd rename this place the Skull Bar. Then people would know who's in charge. Fire, the endless burning flames of perdition itself. <laughs> Not much in the way of night. This old thing hasn't worked in years, and I should know. Hey, seeing all these oh, ghostly guards Fancy gives pants. me an evil idea. If you can get me a new body, I could pretend to be one of them and sneak you into Threepwood's place. What do you say? There's gotta be a convenient corpse lying somewhere around here. Say, that body looks like a good fit for me. Why not let me take it for a test drive and I'll get you to Guybrush. Well, nobody ever said pirates make great architects. What if someone recognizes me in here? Oh, the humiliation. 
to be mistaken for a relic. I've broken out of a few places like this in my time. This is no place for a demonic skull such as myself. Finally, something worth stealing. Looks like a dead end. Good thing I'm already dead. At last, my new reign of demonic terror can... Oh, 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 ah, ah, easy now. It's, uh, been a while since I had limbs to worry about. All right, here we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's get you into that mansion. Now... Marvel at my mastery of impersonation! Yar, one of the governor's guards, I be. I be adoring the legend of Monkey Island so much, and, and, oh, forget it. Well, that about does it for my shift. You know what to do. Keep everyone out of the mansion at all costs. No exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Do I tell you how to do your job? You okay, Walt? You sound weird. Oh, uh, yeah, it's um, allergies. You know, from the poodles. Oh, right. Stupid mutts almost took a bite out of me last week. Our diabolical scheme is working perfectly. Get up to the mansion and find Threepwood. I'll keep watch. What are you waiting for? Go find Threepwood! Fanciest place on Melee Island. Before I could get inside to meet Elaine, I had to subdue a pack of piranha poodles. They're actually quite cute when they're sleeping. Then you must know why I'm here. It's my grandfather's map, isn't it? You want to find the treasure. Don't you see? You're the only treasure I need, Plunder Bunny. I'm here to rescue you. My hero. Oh, you're the greatest pirate who ever lived. Not so fast, you mutinous mudskipper. That's my bride-to-be. I don't think so. The only thing you've got to dig with is my sword. Ha!
some of the most priceless treasures ever looted are on display here. I came to steal one, and that's how I met my plunder buddy. Go away, please. Not today, thank you. Important governatorial business going on. I told you no more autographs. Leave me alone. Would you be quiet? My wife is sleeping. Lutikins, we have company. They must want to hear all about your courageous deeds. Oh, but honey pumpkin, I'm busy with my memoirs. I can't be disturbed or I'll miss my deadline. Now, now, we mustn't be rude. And look, they have a meet and greet ticket. Oh, all right. Welcome to the official Legend of Monkey Island meet and greet event. Your once in a lifetime chance to hear all the seafaring adventures of the mighty pirate Kybrush Threepwood. Straight from the legend himself. No food or drink permitted during the event. Please keep your hands and feet inside the mansion at all times. The trial and authorities are not responsible for any loss of property, injury, or death incurred during the presentation. The legend begins right here on Melee Island, on the day of my arrival. The pirate leaders immediately recognized my natural talents. And so did Governor Marley, who was instantly swept off her feet. And unfortunately, there was one pirate who refused to acknowledge my obvious greatness. The Ghost Pirate Lechuk who was also smitten with Elaine and spirited her away to the mysterious Monkey Island. Gathering a loyal crew and the finest ship available, I sailed in search of LeChuck's pirate lair. Having single-handedly concocted a powerful root beer to destroy ghost pirates, I cornered LeChuck and gave him the biggest spritzing of his afterlife. I kept the bottle. It's one of my most treasured possessions. Unfortunately, it's true what they say. You can't keep an undead, obsessive, vindictive, demonic sea scourge down. I had to tangle with LeChuck again before finally ridding the world of his evil once and for all. I returned to Monkey Island triumphant, married my beloved Elaine, and we set sail on our honeymoon. Then, uh, um, well, but then, we, um, why can't I remember? And what was with that weird fog anyway? Did I... Um, anyway, uh, once everyone learned of my heroic deeds, they insisted I become governor of Melee Island. And that concludes your premium meet and greet session. Cheers! Thanks for stopping by! Hmm. Oh, be sure to check out our exclusive merchandise. Uh, we have gifts for... for the whole family. Oh, uh, and please, leave quietly. My wife is... very, very sleepy.
up anchor, you barnacle brain buffoons, and prepare to make land. There's treachery afoot. What have we here? An unwanted intrusion into my masterful delusion! Threepwood always was pathetically easy to manipulate. One side convinced him he was a mighty pirate hero. His raging ego made all this possible. So long as he believes he's the legend of Monkey Island, he'll never want to leave this place. And it's all thanks to this. Pirates on your precious sea of thieves practically tripped over themselves to deliver me this sword. They couldn't wait to help their beloved pirate lord. It's not about the gold. It's about the glory. Oh, the sea of thieves is such a special place. Where a sickeningly sweet stories can last for all eternity. And once this burning blade is restored, those waters will be mine to rule as I see fit. <laughs> so you see, I really can't let you stand in my way. Fortunately, my skeletal shipmates have gotten mighty restless keeping watch on three foot. I'm sure they'll take good care of you while I set sail for Monkey Island! <laughs> Never should have let you pass. I need help. No, no, no.
thanks to you, LeChuck has withdrawn, and Root Beer has rid this place of his evil influence. The power of Mojo can return at last. We have much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Mele Island. When you are ready to depart, return to me here. I shall be waiting. Sorry, but that meat... much to discuss, but I sense you may have unfinished business here on Mele Island. When you are ready to depart, return to me here. I shall be waiting. As you have learned, the memory of this island has become a prison for Guybrush, a cage crafted from his own vanity and given life by the Sea of the Damned. He is so beguiled, he does not even notice the absence of his wife. But Guybrush and Elaine are not the only ones in peril. LeChuck has come to know the Sea of Thieves and envies the power and status of its pirate lord. If he is not stopped, then he will continue to seek that power for himself. But LeChuck's lair lies deep beneath Monkey Island, and only Guybrush knows the way. Do not lose hope. There is a way to clear the head and free the heart of Guybrush Threepwood, but it will take time to prepare. There are those in the living world who will wish to know all that you now know. I shall send them word of my plan, and when the time is right, I sense they will seek your help once more. For now, I shall return you to your ship. Guybrush owes you a great 
debt of gratitude. Next time we meet, I shall make certain he repays it. Noticed my new book. I wasn't expecting to get a package, least of all from Mele Island. But I guess Mojo works in mysterious ways. Told me everything I need to know. So now, if Three Foot is trapped in his own little fantasy land, we get to be the ones to tear it all down. It's the only way he'll ever agree to come back here. I've sent word to the Pirate Lord. He should be here in just a few. Ugh, I hate it when he does that. Captain Capsize has been gracious enough to inform me of all you've discovered. It seems that Guybrush's current predicament is no accident. I still believe that Guybrush can become the legend he wishes to be. He has many more adventures ahead, but first, we must free him from the clutches of his old foe. The Chuck's a pompous old blowhard, but he's still dangerous. And if Threepwood is out of the picture, He'll go after Elaine next. Ah, yes. I understand he has something of an infatuation with her. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, the book also says there's a way to snap Threefoot out of whatever LeChuck's done to him. Then it seems the time is right to return to the Sea of the Damned. Allow me. Only Guybrush knows how to reach LeChuck. You must do whatever it takes to make him see the truth. If I were you, I'd start by visiting the island's House of Mojo. Something tells me you're already expected. Excuse me? So sorry to bother you, but the captain would like to work. Well, 
Well now, look who's back to meddle in my affairs. Ye must be even more stupid than you look. Creepwool belongs to me now, and that's the way he likes it. Ye can try and talk sense into him until you're blue in the face for all the good it'll do. But while ye waste your breath, I'll be doing as I please on the Sea of Thieves. But I can be merciful. Once I'm running the place, if ye swear an oath to follow the orders of your nefarious new pirate lord, you could become richer and more powerful than you've ever dreamed of. I'll leave ye to consider my offer. I have work to do. Not so fast. I don't know where you've been, and I really don't care. But if you think you can just waltz back into my kitchen, you can think again. You turn up late for work, you don't wash your hands, you use up all my best ingredients. Worst of all, you feed my prime steak to a bunch of mangy mutts. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who are kind to hungry animals. You're fired! Fate has brought us back together. I regret I could not summon you sooner, but things work differently in the Sea of the Damned. It took some time to devise a brew that will bring Guybrush to his senses. A potion that can convey the truth of the pirate life must be concocted using emblems of true pirate courage. The only way to acquire such things is to undertake the three legendary trials. Now that you have met with the legend of Monkey Island, I sense the pirate leaders may be willing to indulge you. Speak with them in the scum bar, then return to me. I'll be working on a drop of something special to help you on your way.
What brings ye back to our table? The governor granted you an audience? Well, this changes matters. The legend of Monkey Island doesn't waste his time with pirate wannabes. That may be so, but nobody's gone through the trials in an age and lived to tell the tale. Then it'll be their funeral, and all the more grog for us. Very well. With the governor's blessing, we shall begin the, the three, three legendary, legendary trials. trials. There are three devilishly difficult trials every pilot must undertake, inspired by the legend of Monkey Island. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. We've been doing this for 33 years, and you're still as clueless as ever. I have a very short attention span. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword play, thievery, and treasure huntery. And gather proof that you've done it. We've prepared some documentation to help you on your way. You can always ask us for advice. Yeah, it's the least we can do for making the legendary trial so confoundingly impossible. Now your first task will be clearing away this accursed fog. Well, I can't see past his own beard out there. Well, if it's cursed fog you want clearing away, I happen to have considerable experience in that regard. There was a time at Sailor's Grave where all were weak. Oh, not the lighthouse story again! Get to the point! <laughs> Very well. Ye must return to the mojo shop and lay your hands on a mystical brew to dispel that infernal mist. Is that how? We could have told them that, you dim with a decoration. Everyone's a critic. I remember undertaking the trial of thievery myself. But well, you can't just steal any old treasure and call yourself a true pirate. We want you to procure a very special item. The same idol snatched by the legend of Monkey Island. It used to be hidden in the governor's mansion, but now it's in the hands of a shifty ship salesman named Stan. He uses it to lure curious pirates out to his business. The man's a born swindler. And all the threats and bargains in the world won't face him. You'll need to make him think he's got the upper hand. How are the trials going? You're not planning to chicken out, are you? Do you have a map? Everyone knows you can't go treasure hunting without a map. There must be someone in town who's willing to sell you one. Once you have a map, Follow its instructions and use whatever means are necessary to find the treasure. But I should warn you, the instructions may require a little creative thinking to interpret. <laughs> Undertaking the three legendary trials and you're still in one piece? Huh, I'm almost impressed. First, get ye a sword. But don't think you can use any old blade. You'll need a mighty pirate sword, befitting the legend of Monkey Island. Now, you'll ultimately need to defeat the sword master of Melee Island, but you won't stand a chance without proper training. For that, I'd recommend seeking out the man who trained the legend himself. The formidable, the ferocious, the feared, Captain Smirk, but the bridge to his place is currently out of commission, so uh, good luck with that.
Do you bring news? You are undertaking the three trials? Excellent. Then you'll be needing this list. I have foreseen much that will aid you in the trials. Even in his slumber, Guybrush will be able to assist you. That's a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. Only one in existence. If you really are a pirate, you won't want to pass it up. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to cough up pieces of eight. Preferably, not literally. What parrot? A trade? Uh, I don't think so. The only maps in town that are more valuable than mine belong to the legend of Monkey Island. Uh, maybe I could be convinced to accept a chart from one of the governor's adventures. That'd be worth a small fortune for me, and a map for you. The shelves in that old mansion must be packed with all kinds of treasures. Next time you're in the area, uh, see what you can swipe. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Welcome back, fancy pants. I hope you brought more money than last time. Not unless you've got something real valuable to use as collateral, and I can already tell by your outfit that you don't. But I do have a few spare notes of credit lying around, if you can get one signed by someone in good standing. Someone like the governor. We'll talk. No, no more autographs. Just let me sleep.
Well, I'll be. You actually got it signed. That'll do nicely, it's store credit. <laughs> now take your time and look around. I'm open all hours. Is that one of the governor's famous sea charts? Okay, you got a deal. The treasure map is yours. <laughs> Nobody else wanted it anyway. Return to me when you are equipped for the three trials. Without silver, you must use other means to acquire what you seek. Now you are almost ready for what lies ahead. But I have one last gift to bestow. I have used the last of your root beer, along with many other strange and dangerous ingredients, to brew a magnificent mojo potion of unrivaled potency. Now it is time to dispel the mist that cloaks us from those in your world. Take my potion to the island lookout and pour it into the fire. Set Melee Island free! Now see here, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got to keep watch, especially when there is a pickpocket sneaking around in all this fog. Hi! 
Yikes! What did you do? What's happening? Stay away from my beacon!
Oh, for the day I'm having. I suppose I should have known the bridge to Smirk's place would be impassable, and that LeChuck's crew would be waiting for me. Fortunately, I was already in a really foul mood, so had a few choice insults in mind to throw them off balance before they could surround me. It didn't take long before my trusty tree branch was reduced to matchwood, but I had one more ace up my sleeve. Good to know the root beer approach still works. This fog, though. It's more than a spot of sea mist, and it's closing in around me. It won't be long before the whole island's swallowed up. <sighs> and if that happens, I'm sorry, Guybrush. I have to save myself before I can save you. At least you'll be safe here, in Dreamland. Was there ever a real troll here? Eh, probably not. But if someone's willing to go that far just for a herring, I don't want to make them angry. Have you ever had a dream that you were so totally convinced was reality? I find myself experiencing the opposite problem, and I'm not sure how to wake up. The pen I hold in my hand feels absolutely real. I can smell the dusty covers of my grandfather's spare journals, and the salty air on the night breeze. Guybrush and I left Melee Island behind. How, then, has it caught up to us? And why is everyone acting so strangely? Uh, the legend of Monkey Island, indeed. <laughs> Hubby Dearest is eating it all up, of course. Basking in praise for mighty pirate deeds he never accomplished. At first he was playing along, but now I think he's starting to believe it. While Guybrush holds court in the scum bar, I'm going to take a walk up to the lookout. Perhaps a fresh perspective will help me work out what's really going on here.
This is the exact spot where I discovered the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. I still have it in a drawer. It's somewhere. try to break free of whatever curse has Melee Island in its clutches, the more I'm able to remember what's real. To think, I mistook LeChuck's bozos for genuine guards. <laughs> ah, oh, they've definitely noticed that I'm not playing my part in Guybrush's fantasy world, and now they're roaming the island. All of them, hunting for me. Mm, I'm certain of it. I suppose it's not safe to go back to the mansion now. I don't know why I left that letter, or who might ever find it. But just like these journals, <laughs> it beats talking to myself. Staying off the beaten path is easy. Finding the Swordmaster's hut, on the other hand. I know Carla enjoys her privacy, but this is ridiculous. I think it's time for Plan C. But while I'm here, I can at least find a good solid tree branch. Nothing as sturdy as a sword, of course, but enough to rattle a few bones if I need to.
the trophy of legendary treasure huntery. Why, it's even more spectacular than I believed. And it will make a fine ingredient for a most exquisite elixir. Also, you have yet to conquer the legendary Trial of Thievery. A precious idol now lies in the hands of a devious trickster, who must be outwitted before it can be claimed. Do not be discouraged by the legendary Trial of the Sword. Out in the forest, someone waits to guide your blade on its path to glory. This is where I purchased my first ever pirate ship, the Mighty Sea Monkey. Well, actually it wasn't all that mighty, but it had a lot of personality. Despite having next to nothing left to rely on, I've managed to make it all the way to the Bay of Melee. And here, I've found what I was looking for. I hadn't given our honeymoon ship much thought since we got to Melee. I barely remember arriving. But here it is, anchored and overpriced at Stan's previously owned vessels. Ordinarily, I'd have marched down there and given that gabby little grafter a piece of my mind. But I needed to be discreet. So, I've arranged a distraction. While Stan's busy fussing over his malfunctioning grog rowboat, I'll be able to sneak aboard my ship. For once, I don't have the luxury of planning ahead. But I'll figure the rest out as I go. Guybrush, my plunder bunny. I'll be back. Howdy. The name's Stan, like on the side. And my day just got ten times brighter now that you're here. You don't need to say anything. I can tell you've heard all about the amazing treasure in my possession. Well, just between us, the rumors are true. Each and every one of the beautiful boats you see here is a true treasure. That's the Stan S. Stan guarantee. So tell me, how can I make you the deal of a lifetime? A big ship? A luxury ship? A ship with just a splash of je ne sais quoi? 
Trust me, I want you to leave here happy. Why not start by taking a look around? If you have any questions, I'll be right with you. I could do this all day. Would you mind getting out of my way? Ah, this is one of our compact models. But what she lacks in capacity, she makes up for in convenience. Her star feature is the drink dispenser attached to the back. Why sail all the way to a tavern just to fill your tankard when you can have grog on demand? Unfortunately, I can't sell this one right away. Some lout jammed a doubloon in the coin slot and we're waiting on replacement parts. Such a pity. Wait for me! I'll just be squeezing past now. You can simply smell the history rolling off this beauty. Unfortunately, her logbook was heavily water damaged, so she's as mysterious as she is lovely. I bought her at a discount because none of her cannons are operational, but that makes her perfect for a pleasure cruise. I'm on my way. Magnificent, ain't she? This is one of the most notorious and fearsome ships across the whole of the Caribbean. And definitely not an unlicensed copy. I know what you're thinking. How'd Stan get a hold of a beauty like this? Well, I'm afraid a good entrepreneur never reveals trade secrets. What matters is that she's the fastest ship on the waves and guaranteed 100% free from cursed animals. Though I gotta say, she doesn't come cheap. Wow, you really get around. Whoops, <laughs> don't mind me. You have a keen eye, Fred. That's the Headless Monkey, as featured in Great Shipwrecks of Our Century, a very prestigious catalog of naval calamity. According to the logbook, she was sunk, salvaged, restored, crewed, sailed, scuttled again, and now she exists as some kind of weird ghost galleon. I don't know how or why, I just know that it makes her a truly special ship. Lightweight, nimble, slightly transparent, she's got it all. Hey, how about a little breathing room? When you've made a decision, I'll be here. I get it. Buying a ship is a big decision. Take all the time you need. Well, that's why the sign says Stan's previously owned vessels, friend. I buy boats from anyone who's looking to sell. No questions asked. Unfortunately, I can't take on any new stock until I've cleared out some space here on the jetty. Maybe then we can arrange a part exchange. Gold? No, no, no. Pieces of aid are the accepted currency on Melee Island. But like I said, I'm not looking for trade-ins while I have so many quality vessels to sell. But hey, that shouldn't stop you from browsing our selection. What kind of self-respecting seafarer could say no to ships of this caliber? You bet. Ever since the legend of Monkey Island arrived, crews have come from far and wide. Everyone stops by once they catch word of our amazing deals. I'd take a vacation, but I just couldn't bear to walk away from this place and break the hearts of so many pirates dreaming of their next ship. Oh, hey, that reminds me. How's your shopping spree going? Anything caught your eye? Well, be sure to let your old buddy Stan know when you have. I'd love to tell the boss I was able to help you walk away happy. Oh, that! That's just a formality. Believe me, I'd change it if I could, but you know how things are. Now, let's get back to your purchase. It's like I always say, if you don't keep my ships in good condition, we'll be parting on bad terms. 
Just kidding, that's a little brand and marketing joke right there. Seriously, don't worry about the paperwork, let me worry about it. All of our ships come packed with pamphlets full of boring stuff you'll never read. Tell you what, if you're sailing a ship from Stan's previously owned vessels and it sinks, and everyone is killed, we'll talk. All right, let's talk financing. As you've seen, we offer a wide range of options, ranging from premium to super deluxe premium quality. Our top of the line model is the Black Pearl, which is competitively priced at 20,000 pieces of eight. That's economics, my friend. You have to spend money to make money. But if you don't have that level of disposable income, well... An example of our budget models would be the Headless Monkey. Absolutely within your price range and the perfect ship for your needs. That's why... That's why it breaks my heart to inform you that she's already been sold. I'm just waiting on her new owner to collect her. Sorry, but that's life. Perhaps we can discuss some of the other options. Sorry, but I couldn't possibly divulge that kind of confidential client information. All right, all right, take it easy. If you must know, it was purchased by a guy named Meat Hook. He runs a little place over on Hook Island. He told me that some unfortunate circumstances require him to set sail, and pronto. So I sold him the ship to do it. Listen, I've got a reputation to think of. If I pulled out of a completed transaction, Stan's previously owned vessels would be a laughing stock. Tell you what. If you deal with Meat Hook directly and he gives you his bill of sale, I'll sign the headless monkey over to you. Everybody wins. If you hurry, you could probably still catch Meat Hook before he leaves. If not, hey, I've got plenty more ships for sale. Hook Island, home to my old shipmate Meat Hook. That's a very flashy sign for someone who says they hate visitors. If you're here to be amazed by the natural wonders of Meat Hook's astonishing animal attractions, you're too late. We're out of business, and soon I'll be out of here for good. <sighs> I already told you we're closed. If you're here to quake in the terror of the murderous winged devil known as the Beast, you're out of luck. It's gone. Not so long ago, it was Meat Hook's House of Astonishing Animal Attractions. That's me. I'm Meat Hook. But then the Chuck's crew turned up looking for trouble. They broke in here, spilled my breakfast, and started ransacking the place. I got so mad, 
I had no choice but to unleash the raw power and merciless fury of our star attraction, the Beast. Sure it worked. Nobody except the legend of Monkey Island is brave enough to look the Beast in the eye and live to tell the tale. They ran like crazy. The trouble is, once freed from its vault, the beast is unstoppable. It escaped into the world to seek new prey, and now I'm ruined. Are you kidding me? The beast is unfathomably savage. It almost put me out of business years ago by mauling a tourist. The only one around here who's fearless enough to tame the beast is the legend of Monkey Island. Obviously, he was the first person I asked for help, but he never replied. Oh yeah? Well, you'd think he'd be a little more friendly to his old crewmates. He and I traveled all the way to Monkey Island together. Of course, he did do most of the actual work. You don't need to tell me. LeChuck's crew really tore up my home. Without my star attraction, I don't know how I'm gonna rebuild. Nope, it's too dangerous to keep them anywhere near the beast. All I have left is my talking tattoo, Roger, and he doesn't feel like saying much. It's only going to get worse when the townsfolk realize I've unleashed an unstoppable killing machine to roam freely across Melee Island. It breaks my heart to say it, but that's why I've decided to leave. My new ship is already bought and paid for. Ha! Soon I'll be setting sail for a new life. Go outside alone at night with a ferocious beast on the loose. Ha! Are you kidding me? You must be even crazier than you look. Sorry, but that ship belongs to me now. I need it to leave. With the beast gone, there's nothing left for me here. You? Har 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 har. That's a good one. Even if you could somehow tame the beast, there's a bunch of preparation work you'd have to handle to stop it escaping again. Wow, you really mean it. I... I don't know what to say. Not even the legend of Monkey Island has ever been this nice to me. Okay, let's do it. But I'm in charge. I'll give the orders and you can handle the uh, manual labor. First things first. We need to fix up that cage, get rid of those broken cutlasses and find some planks to repair the door. I bet there are plenty lying around outside. that shuts the door is broken. We'll need some kind of handle to repair it. Something sturdy, too. Driftwood won't last five seconds. Go and see what you can find.
Okay, listen up. This next part is of the utmost importance. I need you to bring me some concentrated banana grease. It has to be the banana kind. You got that? You found it! This stuff goes great with a bowl of the Captain's Crunch! <laughs> Forcing you around has given me an appetite. All that's left now is to capture the beast. Its lair is in a cave near here, but you'll be torn apart if you go in unprepared. Lucky for you, there's a shanty that helps to quell its murderous rage. I have the tune written down. Somewhere. Don't just stand there, get it back in the cage and shut the door! I don't believe it! You have the guts, the courage, the sheer audacity to face down the beast in its lair and wrestle it back into captivity! And you're still alive! Now I can rebuild my shattered dreams and make this place the tourist trap it was always destined to be! Here, take my bill of sale. I don't need a ship anymore. I'm staying right here 
on Hook Island to guard the beast and rake in the silver. After LeChuck kidnapped Elaine, I came here and asked Meat Hook to join my crew. Convincing him I should be the captain was weirder than I expected. If you hurry, you could probably still catch Meat Hook before he leaves. If not, hey, I've got... Well, aren't you the shrewd negotiator? Congratulations! And now that you've got a ship, it's time to talk about all the extra features you'll be needing. We've been getting some great deals in stock. Ooh, now I really shouldn't have left these on display. They're actually reserved for a very important client who's one of my most loyal customers. But you know what? I really feel like we've bonded today. There's a genuine connection forming between us. That's why I couldn't bear to see you go into battle without these cannons. I just don't know how I'd live with myself. If you want them, they're yours. Or did you have a different purchase in mind? These are bargains from any angle. You know, nothing screams pirate like standing at the helm of your ship, gripping the wheel tightly as you steer this way and that. But tell me, have you thought what would happen if that wheel suddenly exploded, skewering you with a million deadly shards? I've seen it happen. That's why I always keep at least one of these in stock. You're not just buying a new wheel, you're buying peace of mind. You can't put a price on that. Now, has anything else caught your eye? Ooh, one of these beauties caught your interest? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Stan, my ship already has a cap stand. But you know what she doesn't have? She doesn't have a bona fide obsidian cap stand with improved ratcheting, easy glide rotational action, and custom grip intensifiers, of course. You've heard the saying, way anchor. Well, this, my friend, is the only way to anchor. What else can I show you today? What else can I show you? Now this is an item for the discerning ship captain. Why cram all your outfits in a moldy old clothing chest when you could store them in style? That's solid wood from a genuine tree. An unpickable lock and key mechanism. It, uh, sure, absolutely it is. Allow me to offer a demonstration. Say 
there. See? Plenty of room to hide. And I'm waving my arms around, too. In fact, now that I think about it, I think you could fit an entire crew in here. Maybe add a little table, some seating. Really, carve yourself out some personal space aboard ship. It can be so important to take five minutes of you time, you know? It's so warm and cozy, I almost don't want to leave. But if I stay in here, who's going to sell you this cupboard? Uh-oh, looks like we've run into a little technical issue. Nothing I can't handle, just give me a second. Um, hello? You'll have to make an appointment. Uh, sorry, Occupado. What is going on out there? Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'll be right out. I hope. I'm a little busy right now. Call back later. I'm a little busy right now. Call back later. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessel. I'll be right out. I hope. Uh, sorry, Occupado. Can anyone hear me? What was that loud splashing sound? Why can I smell salt water? And why do I feel seasick? Hey, this thing actually makes for a pretty good ship. There may just be a market for these. Despite some questionable methods, 
You have claimed the idol of many hands from its hiding spot. I shall use it to pep the potency of my potion. Do not be discouraged by the legendary trial of the sword. Out in the forest, someone waits to guide your blade on its path to glory. I love visiting the circus, but after meeting the Fettuccini brothers, I think I prefer to stay in the audience. I can't believe what I'm hearing. You are so irresponsible. Me? You're the one who insisted upon audience participation. People only take part if there's a big, flashy prize. But 10,000 pieces of egg? We don't have that kind of money! Won't you relax? Nobody is actually going to succeed at this. It's impossible! They'll try, they'll fall, the audience will laugh, and everyone will go home happy. We don't know that it's impossible. And we can't possibly test it ourselves. So we find a volunteer. Stop being such a meathead! Fishhead! Toady! Whistle! Shush! We have company! Welcome! Come in, come in! Your timing who could not be better. How would you like a chance to win a prize? A grand prize? A glorious grand prize? Of 10,000 pieces of eight? Eh, or thereabouts. By being the first to try our death-defying. But perfectly safe, huh? Melee Island Spectacular! The latest, greatest creation of the amazing, acrobatic, fabulous, flying, phenomenal, Fettuccini Brothers! That's us! When you are ready to become a superstar, talk to my brother Bill about your costume. And my brother Alfredo to go through the routine. We'll be ready when you are. I never expected to take part in a traveling circus, but Alfredo and Bill talked me into becoming a human cannonball. I can still taste the gunpowder. to be in costume to take part in the Melee Island Spectacular. If you don't have that yet, you can pick one up from over there. Have you never been to the circus? All of the performers are expected to dress up. It adds so much spectacle to our acts. 
the most important part of your costume is the safety helmet that is absolutely non-negotiable for anyone who's being fired from a Fettuccini Brothers cannon. Well, you do here. That way you get spared a headache and we get spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. It is an unbelievable, unprecedented, life-changing 10,000 pieces of eight. Enough to make all your melee island dreams come true. Of course we do. I am insulted you would even think that we would try to cheat you. Now stop bad-mouthing our circus and try the challenge. Pirates and the circuses are a perfect defeat, that's why. You just have to think about it logically. Pirates are all about death-defying acts of courage and skill, balancing on narrow beams high in the air and facing down the ferocious animals. But uh, honestly, what pirates love most of all is watching other people make fools of themselves in the public. That is why we want to include the soccer, <laughs> the members of the audience. You can ring that bell all you want, but the challenge doesn't count until you get into the costume and put on your safety help. The pirates and the circuses are a perfect defeat, that's why. You just have to think about it logically. Pirates are all about death-defying acts of courage and skill, balancing on narrow beams high in the air and facing down the ferocious animal. But uh, honestly, what pirates love most of all is watching other people make fools of themselves in the public. That is why we want to include the soccer, <laughs> the members of the audience. You can ring that bell all you want, but the So, what do you say? Ready to take on our challenge and win the prize of a... It's the latest part of our new circus routine, inspired by stories about the legend of Monkey Island. We take a volunteer from the audience and put them through a few teensy-weensy challenges to win the grand prize. It may not make you as famous as the legend of Monkey Island, but everyone has to start somewhere. Once you're in costume, head to the starting line and ring the bell to begin. Then you must climb the ladder, cross the tight rope, and ring the second bell. After that, you must leap across the platforms and ring the third bell. Then slide down the wire and ring the last bell by that cannon over there. Then it's time for the grand finale. You must climb into the cannon Launch yourself through all of the rings and land safely in the water. It couldn't be simpler. You hit the ground, dummy. A few bumps and bruises are a small price to pay for fame and fortune. We don't expect you to succeed on your first attempt, so you can try as many times as you like. You can do it! Take deep breaths. This is so tense. You can make it to the ground from there. And the crowd goes wild. I told you it wasn't impossible. Now what do we do? Uh, hey, come over here, Prego. We need to talk about the, your prize. Now, see here, I know we said that the grand prize was 10,000 pieces of eight, but... But we forget to mention the administration fees. 
we did. Oh, we did! And the mandatory Tri Island Entertainment tax. Canon maintenance charges. Custom cleaning. Voluntary compulsory contribution to the Melee Island Circus Orphans Foundation. And the freight charges. So taking all of that into the account. Your prize totals. 404 pieces of eight. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Back for another run of the melee. You can do it! Did we make this too easy? Remember, if you want to... What do you want? What do you <laughs> want? Well, you got yeah. my attention. What do you want? Yeah, well, you heard yeah, wrong. Well, you heard Maybe wrong. that was true a long Maybe time ago, but not, ago. but not anymore. But not anymore. 
Who do you think cut down the trees, planed the wood, hauled it to the river and rebuilt the bridge with their own two hands? Me. That's who. That's who. Because I thought maybe I could keep away all the pirate wannabes who come to my door and bother me. So much for that idea. Now let me guess. You want me to train you to be better than the sword master? <laughs> oh, that's priceless. Listen, there isn't a pirate alive better than the legend of Monkey Island. To even come close would take years of practice and the quickest wits in the Caribbean. But business has been slow since Guybrush became governor. I guess I am getting a little low on funds. You do, huh? Tell you what, it won't help you match up to the legend of Monkey Island. But if you can pay my fee, I'll teach you what I can. If, that is, you can prove you're serious by showing me your mighty pirate sword. So do it! Now what do you want? That's what I wanted to see. A blade fit for the legend of Monkey Island. I guess you can come inside. I remember the day Guybrush Threepwood came knocking on my door. Just like you did. I thought he was a wimpy little maggot who wouldn't last ten seconds against the Swordmaster. But now, he's the legend of Monkey Island and a role model for pirates everywhere. Just goes to show what you can accomplish if you believe in yourself. Now, I'm sure you're a big fan, and the idea of facing a living legend churns your guts up inside. Well, I say you've got to face that fear and use it to make you stronger. Just want you to know I don't do this with just anyone, but I'm going to put you up against the legendary machine. I think we can skip the basics. You've come this far, and any pirate can swing a lump of metal around. It's not just what you do, it's what you say that matters. Let's start simple. Use your sword to block the machine's attacks. I attack, you defend. That's how this part works. Now it's your turn. Attack the machine. But what if, while we were fighting, I were to suddenly say, my sword play will amaze you. That wasn't a retort. When I say, my sword play will amaze you. You should come back at me with something like... Yeah, I'm amazed you've lasted this long. Time to protect yourself. Let's try another. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. No, no, try something more like... Well, everyone loves a good joke. Be ready to block my attacks. Let's try another. My sword play will amaze you. Come at me again. 
That's more like it. Now, try insulting me. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You've learned everything I can teach you. All you can do now is get out there and learn as many insults as you can. Here's a map with locations that are popular among sword fighters. Go and pick some fights. When you're ready to challenge the sword master, you'll know it. As for me, I should probably fix up the machine. It's been a long time since it's taken such a beating. Now go on, get out of here. This is where I began my journey to challenge the Swordmaster. Oh, just looking at all this training equipment makes my muscles sore. The home of the fearless Captain Smirk. He has a few bad habits, but there's almost nothing he doesn't know about sword fighting. Power, mortal, for you have strayed into the presence of Murray, the demonic... Oh, it's you again. That useless body you found for me got smashed to pieces. Talk about shoddy craftsmanship. Well, I washed up on a beach. There was this whole thing with a hermit crab before I gnawed my way up a vine to freedom. I won't bore you. Anyway, now that you're here, you can provide me with some entertainment. Spots like this are great for sword fighting contests. Did you come here to talk, or did you come here to fight? Here comes another battle. The hurtful remarks, the soul-crushing observations, they sustain me! <laughs> Think you can beat me? Ha! Let's find out! I've met pigs that are scarier than you. Take this! Barely even offensive. My sword play will amaze you! <laughs> They're speechless. I can't think straight! Come on, let's hear what you got! Oh, glad to hear you stay in touch with your parents. That was just confusing. I'm the greatest fighter on the seas! If they hit you again, 
It's all over. Good job! Find me again when you're ready for a proper fight. You need some better insults. Did you come here to talk or did you come here to fight? Here comes another battle. The hurtful remarks, the soul-crushing observations, they sustain me. <laughs> I'll never turn down a good fight. Are you out of insults already? Too bad you met me on dry land. Better like that never hurt. No one has ever beaten me in combat. I'm gonna enjoy this. That was just confusing. My swordplay will amaze you. If they hit you again, it's all over. <laughs> They're speechless. That really hurts. Come on, let's hear what you've got. Oh, so this is your first time. Find me again when you're ready for a proper fight. I guess we're about done here. Did you come here to talk or did you come here to... F I smell another sword fight. Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> Prepare to be humiliated. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. Ooh, that one had to sting. That was so cruel. This is insult sword fighting, you know. This is your first fight. 
If I were you, I'd give up now. I'm the greatest fighter on the sea! Wow, even I think that was cool. That was a low blow! This is insult sword fighting, you know? Don't stop now. Finish them off. Hey, shut up! Yes, yes, keep going. I... I don't know what to say. I demand a rematch! Don't let this go to your head. Did you come here to talk? I smell another sword fight. Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> hey, I've got a bone to pick with you. you. Need to catch your breath. That was truly devastating. I love it. You're so pretty. I came here to be insulted. Only from laughing at you. when you've learned the rules. You need some better insult. Did you come here to talk? When you get a chance to use an insult of your own, try it out against your opponent. You never know, they might just come up with the perfect response. And if you were to borrow that comeback and use it yourself in future, that's the kind of behavior I'd expect from a real pirate. It's time for another fight. Remember, be fearless, be relentless, and be insulting.
never turn down a good fight. You won't win without a good insult. It's about time you got one. Pull yourself together. No one has faced me and lived. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? My sword play will amaze you. This is your last chance. <laughs> They're speechless. I... I don't know what to say. Stop messing about and taunt me. With breath that bad, I'm not surprised. This is too easy. I quit. Come find me when you're ready to try again. It's about time you got one! I'm the greatest fighter on the seas! You met me on dry land! No one has ever beaten me in combat!
Here comes another battle. The hurtful remarks, the soul-crushing observations, they sustain me! <laughs> You'll rue the day we cross paths. You're not fit to lick my boots. What did you say? This is getting embarrassing. Deeds are spoken of worldwide. I bet there's more where that came from. Hey, no fair! I'll be scraping you off mine shortly. Pull yourself together. I'll wipe the floor with you. You can't take another hit. Gotcha! Find me again when you're ready for a proper fight. Did you come here to talk? It's sword fight time. Let's see if your comments are more cutting than your cutlass. I'll never turn down a good fight. Well, say something. I hope you're better at cleaning than you are at fighting. If I were you, I'd give up. I'll wipe the floor with you! You might not be completely useless after all. I can't think straight! You out of insults already? Oh yeah? Hey, you're not bad at this. I wasn't ready! Something. This could be a victory. Yeah, I'm amazed you lasted this long. Bander like that never hurts anybody.
I've met pigs that are scarier than you. You can't take another hit. Oh, the anger. Oh, the suffering. Hey, no fair. They've got me. I've seen enough. You might just be ready to face the Swordmaster without being totally annihilated. Her location is a closely guarded secret, but I stole some instructions that should help you find her. Try and ignore the bite marks. Now go, challenge the Swordmaster, and bring them to their knees with a relentless barrage of your most merciless insults! <laughs>
I've been in worse spots than this, Carla. Remember Port Royal? I remember you still owe me a new hat. Send LeChuck a message. Don't mess with the legend of Monkey Island or his friends. Well, this sure wasn't how I expected things to go. But now you can tell the pirate leaders you fought with the Swordmaster. Nobody ever said it had to be on different sides. And this medallion will be your proof. If you're trying to complete the three trials, you'll need it. It seems LeChuck suspects something of our plans, but he'll not prevent us from creating a truly magnificent mixture, and Carla's medallion will play its part. With this final triumph, you've gathered everything I need to complete the greatest elixir of my illustrious career. Return to my shop, and together we shall free Guybrush from his curse. I'm Carla, the Swordmaster. I'm Carla, the Swordmaster. Well, defeat is a strong term. I'm not sure he'd have even found my house if that fool of a storekeeper hadn't led him right to me. He was so young and inexperienced back then. I never imagined he'd go on to become such a mighty pirate. But I suppose people can always surprise you. Speaking of surprises, did you just give my prize medallion to the lady who runs the Mojo store? I should have known she'd be mixed up in all this. Like I said, I'm the Sword Master, and that means, you'll never guess, I'm a master with a sword. What, you thought it was some cushy government job? That used to mean the pirate leaders would send hopeful wannabes like you to challenge me. Eventually, I closed off the path to my house so that the storekeeper couldn't keep bothering me. Whatever you do, don't tell him about the secret switch. Have I heard of it? 
I was stranded there for a while after our ship sank. It was all because of LeChuck's obsession with Governor Marley. The legend of Monkey Island assembled a crew and asked me to be part of it. I can't help but wish I'd paid more attention on the journey. I have absolutely no idea how to get back there again. Ah, uh, I'd almost forgotten the thrill of a good battle. Fighting the legendary machine just isn't the same. If you must know, I was impressed enough by your training session that I got to thinking you might actually stand a chance of beating the Swordmaster. Carla and I have known each other for a long time. So I snuck out here to warn her you might be turning up on her doorstep. Fair is fair. But thanks to LeChuck's crew butting in, that's a brawl you two don't need to have. I bet even the legend of Monkey Island would be impressed with your performance. Noticed that, did you? When you train to the level of a swordmaster, you learn some really good taunts that most pirates have never even heard. Lucky for you, you'd picked up enough comebacks to hold your own against Mr. Glowbones back there. There may come a day when you'll need to think up your own insults on the spot. Don't forget what you've learned out here. Noticed that, did you? When you train to the level of a swordmaster, you learn some really good taunts The most pirates... Lucky for you, you'd picked up enough comebacks to hold your own against Mr. Glowbones back there. There may come a day when you'll need to think up your own insults on the spot. Honestly, I just want to catch my breath. Some of those insults can really take it out of a guy, and I'm no spring chicken. Then I'll probably spend some time with Carla and talk about the good old days. There was this time out at Port Royal where we were cornered, and she said, Heh, perhaps that's a story for another time. You've got trials to conquer. Home of Carla the Swordmaster. I don't know anyone who's ever been inside. I guess nobody around here likes uninvited guests. As a former governor and frequent pirate, I'm used to going where I please. But right now, I might as well be in the cells with Otis. Hmm. At least everyone knows he's a prisoner. I knew there would be one person on Melee who could help me make Guybrush see the truth. So tonight, I decided to visit Corinna. The new guards had other ideas and told me the shop was closed. By order of the governor. I considered forcing my way past, but something told me that it'd be a bad idea. Guybrush barely knows I'm in the room nowadays. 
But I should still have friends on melee. At least, I hope so. Someone with a blade to watch my back? The guards have set up some sort of checkpoint leading into town. That's why I'll be taking the back route into the forest. <laughs> I think I can still remember the way. From a trial of discovery, a path home is revealed. From a trial of deceit, truth no longer concealed. From a trial of the sword, new strength shall now impart. The fog that clouds the mind flees from the courage of the heart. It is time. Return to the governor's mansion and confront Guybrush. Together, we shall expose the legend of Monkey Island as nothing more than the tall tales of a would-be pirate lord. What's with all the commotion? I'm never gonna be able to finish my memoirs when everything's so noisy. Hey, I remember you, but the guards told me you'd left town. It has been a long time, Guybrush Threepwood. Far longer than you know. Perhaps you would do me the honor of joining us in a toast. For old times' sake. Well, I guess a little refreshment couldn't hurt. What's in the bottle? My own recipe, brewed for the legend of Monkey Island. Well, I'll drink to that. Cheers! Ugh, tastes like breath mints mixed with cat sweat. I think I'll stick to grog. Oh, what's in this stuff? The truth. Oh yeah? Uh, because I think the truth is gonna make me... Whoa, what the... Uh, why am I in the governor's mansion? Wait, I remember. Uh, LeChuck, his sword, and then... Everybody was there, cheering for me, calling me a legendary pirate just like I always wanted. But none of it was real. Uh, I've been such an idiot. We all have dreams, Guybrush. Sometimes the hard part is knowing that you have to wake up. Wake up? Uh, Elaine!
If LeChuck thinks I'm still stuck in his fantasy world, he won't be expecting me to hunt him down. I'm gonna gather my things, find myself a ship, and rescue Elaine before it's too late. Your plan is bold, but the Sea of the Damned is vast. LeChuck's vessel could be anywhere. Now, if LeChuck's using memories of our past for his evil schemes, there's only one place he'll be hiding. Somewhere I still know how to reach. It's time I went back to Monkey Island! I know you came here to save me, but I can't leave just yet. Listen, you fought off LeChuck's crew. You completed the three trials. I could really use your help. Now that the curse is broken, the people of Melee will no longer see Guybrush as the legend of Monkey Island. He'll need to make amends before he can depart. Return to the waters you call home. When Guybrush is ready to begin his journey, I shall make certain you are at his side. This place may not be the actual Melee Island, but it sure feels real. I sure feel like an idiot for acting like I own the place. Yeah, I'd say most folks in the Caribbean think of it as being a myth, I suppose. Untamed oceans and sea monsters tucked away in the crease of a map. When the Pirate Lord sent us a personal invitation, there was no stopping me. I just had to see it for myself. So we followed the map and set a course. I can't really say for sure. I think we ran into a storm or took a wrong turn somewhere. All I can remember is Elaine calling my name. She's still out there somewhere. I'm not going to stop until I find her again. She did? Does that mean she's forgiven me for our past misunderstanding? Yikes. Uh, maybe I should visit the circus and pick up a spare safety helmet. It might come in handy. No, Kate's too good at insults. First she'd hurt my feelings, and then she'd hurt the rest of me. But if I explain the situation calmly and rationally, I'm sure she'll understand why I had no choice but to do what I did. Yeah, I'm doomed, aren't I? Ugh, same old LeChuck. But there's something strange about that new sword of his. It's so hypnotic. I wonder where he found it. Uh, well, we shouldn't underestimate him. Uh, but don't worry, I know a few tricks for dealing with him and his crew. And I'll have to dig through my belongings, but next time we meet, I'll have a little surprise in store for LeChuck. The only way to get to Monkey Island is by brewing a special recipe with a very particular mix of ingredients. They might take me a while to find. Then I'll have to call in a few favors. Hopefully people aren't too mad about the whole Legend of Monkey Island thing not being, you know, true. I guess, but this was still my fantasy. I was more than happy to play along and have everyone believe I was the most legendary pirate of all time. But I have to find a way to set things right. I'm going to need everyone's help to make it back to Monkey Island and rescue Elaine. This place may not... Okay, explain this to me again. There's a legend of Monkey Island. That's right, I, I think. And the legend? It's this Gabrush guy? Seriously? Now that you mention it, that does seem strange. He doesn't look like that great of a pirate. <laughs> he looks more like a flooring inspector. <laughs> hey, shut up. Ow! <laughs> we were all suckered by a phony pirate legend. <laughs> Wait, that's not funny. We're so distracted by this guy brush business, none of us can concentrate on our circus act. I can't believe we thought the governor was a living legend. Maybe we don't know as much about pirating as we think. Looks like we'll need to elect a new governor. 
As a successful entrepreneur, maybe I should run for office. I feel mighty peculiar. Like I've woken from a very long dream. Well, there's only one cure for this sort of thing. More grub! Aye? Aye! I can't believe we thought Guybrush Threepwood was a mighty pirate. The legendary trials are a laughing stock. Well, back to the drawing board. I'm trying not to think about what happened with the governor. It's all a little confusing. Not to mention humiliating. I suppose we'd better start searching for a new governor. And this time, we'll find ourselves a real legend. I don't know what you did, but people are starting to remember the truth about the so-called legend of Monkey Island. Things will be back to normal soon enough. My legend of Monkey Island menu. It's a laughing stock. Now what am I going to do? You are. It's about time somebody normal stopped by. 
There I was, minding my own business, when this spooky lady wearing an unnecessarily large hat comes bursting out of the water and says she has a book for me. Is there anyone around here who doesn't just appear and disappear whenever they feel like it? Okay, now I know you're all doing it on purpose. If Bell has brought word to us from Melee, then Guybrush must be ready to depart. I shall reopen a path to the Sea of the Damned, so that you may join him on his journey to Monkey Island and face Lachuk together. I must confess, even I did not truly believe such a place really existed. But memory or no, tales of the power Monkey Island conceals should be taken most seriously. Threepwood may be a scrawny dope, but he's beaten LeChuck before. We really need to worry. The Sword of Souls is a formidable weapon. It was created to release captive spirits. But when fully reforged as the burning blade, it will grant LeChuck the power to enslave them. I knew I shouldn't have asked. Well, what are we waiting for? Indeed. We have come too far to abandon Guybrush now. Use his memoirs to guide you, and make sure that Chuck never gets a chance to wield the burning blade. Captain Capsize and I must attend to a mission of our own. You've got his memoirs. Now get through that archway and help Threepwood. He'll almost certainly need it. on the brimstone there, chef. Ahoy there! We're about to make sail for Monkey Island. Stay close to the Black Pearl so we don't get separated. Ready, Mr. Mancombe? Deploy the cinnamon in three, two... Cinnamon Incorporated, Captain. Prepare the chicken. No, the rubber chicken. Avian Ascension Apparatus added. And be ready with the mints. Billy, that we're fresh out. What? Already? Twas Spiffy what had the last of them, Captain. Done his breath of power good. We'll find something. What about these? Those look like cucumbers. Well, pickled cucumbers. I found about 30 jars in the Captain's quarters. But they're green, and they grow outdoors, so I reckon... Why would anyone keep down the heck with it? Throw it all in the pot. 
Brickless recipe replacements reducing, sir. Should be ready any moment. Monkey Island. I'm coming, Elaine. Full speed ahead, Mr. Cobb. Show me what the Black Pearl can really do. Aye. 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 I'd say it greatly increases the dramatic tension by promising a fateful encounter between an iconic hero and villain in an unforgettable locale. By presenting such a marked visual juxtaposition to Melee Island, that sense of the familiar is replaced with an uncanny feeling of dread. Furthermore, the tonal dissonance created when such an idyllic location is framed as your final and thus logically most challenging destination should not be underestimated. The serenity and almost total lack of human interaction can only serve to heighten the sense of awe and wonder as you rely on your own spatial awareness to progress. He's by the big monkey head in the jungle. Good luck! Hey, 
Hey, you! Stay out of the kitchen! Sorry, force of habit. Hey, but don't touch the cooking pot. One spoonful's enough to blow your brains right out of your ears. Guybrush asked if he could borrow my cooking pot. He said that brewing a special recipe is the only way to reach Monkey Island. You need squid ink, cinnamon, zinc oxide, monkey blood. It's a very delicate and sophisticated task. Mancone turned out to be a natural. Maybe he should be my new assistant chef. Nope, that cooking pot's been in the family for five generations. There's no way I'm leaving it unguarded in a place like this. And hey, isn't stopping LeChuck supposed to be your job? Sure is. I always thought Monkey Island would be, you know, small and cute, like a monkey. But it's actually giant and scary, like a chimp. You should start by finding Guybrush. He knows his way around. Or you could ask the old hermit guy over at the South Beach. If you can find a rowboat, you might have an easier time getting around. Sorry, but everything went into the cooking pot. You'll have to find your own food. Deep, dark caves are a good way to keep things fresh. So, you found your way along in our wake. Welcome to Monkey Island. We are now. See, folks weren't best pleased to learn they'd been beguiled, nor that the legend of Monkey Island was so much bilge water. Guybrush tried to set things right, but a lot of people weren't happy, and very few believed him when he said LeChuck was behind the whole thing. Treasure and lots of it. After apologizing, pleading and persuading didn't work. Guybrush remembered that pirates can be quite amenable to bribery. <laughs> There's a fair chunk of the governor's treasury. Wait. Until then, I'll be the most loyal shipmate you've ever seen. There's no need to phrase that so accusingly. Guybrush was quite intent on paying for his passage, but after hunting high and low, Stan was nowhere to be seen. Therefore, we invoked a unilateral residence of Melee Association proclamation and availed ourselves of nearby assets for the good of the community. Well, if you ask me, it's Stan who's the real crook in all of this. Turns out that this isn't even the genuine article. The paint comes right off. I suppose the real Black Pearl must be off on some grand adventure of her own, though I doubt she'll find stranger tides than these. The lad jumped overboard as soon as we reached the shallows and raced off into the jungle. And the pooch went after him like a bolt of lightning. Well, he was yelling about a gigantic stone monkey head near here. Supposedly it's a secret entrance to somewhere or other. Sounds like it'd be hard to miss. Only that you should watch where you tread. Supposedly, there's an old castaway living around here with a fondness for setting traps. I spied their camp on the southern beach as we were sailing by. They're sure to know plenty about the island, assuming they're not completely cracked by now. 
Happy though I was to accompany Guybrush on his journey, in exchange for generous remuneration, of course, the rest is up to him. I'll not be getting myself into a fight with LeChuck, nor his crew, for the sake of Guybrush. Money's no good if you're too dead to spend it. Aye, that we are. It's been too long since I got to work on my tan. But don't let us stop you from exploring, putting yourself in mortal peril and so on. <laughs> stop by again and let us know how you get on. You made it, but the others are still on the ship. Looks like it's just us. And Spiffy, of course. The Chuck's secret lair is through the catacombs under this giant stone monkey head. I was sure I left the key right here. It looks kind of like a big cotton swab, but I can't find it anywhere. In fact, I'm pretty sure someone's been poking around since the last time I was here. They left this map behind, see? Looks like they were searching for three golden idols. My pirate instincts tell me they're probably part of some elaborate yet thematically appropriate puzzle. You hold on to the map and go look for the key. I'll wait here and keep watch for LeChuck and Elaine. One of the most terrifying sights on the whole of Monkey Island. Trespassers are forbidden, but I wasn't going to let that stop me from rescuing Elaine.
We can't reach LeChuck unless we can get this big ape's head. Uh, I don't know. The last time I needed it, I was able to barter with Herman. He's the local caster. I bet it's hidden by some kind of mechanism that needs several obscure items to activate it. I know, it sounds strange. Exactly! I love it, honestly. Makes me feel so piratey. Anyway, lots of crews came looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Try following that map I found. Well, somebody needs to stand guard here, and I have a secret advantage. Besides, it was you who beat the three legendary trials. Oh, tell you what. When we get to LeChuck's ship, you can keep watch while I do all the incredibly brave and dangerous stuff. Up here is not so bad. The really dangerous stuff is hidden underground. Squishy fungus, rivers of lava. It's pretty gross. All the important stuff is marked on that map I gave you. You should probably check the volcano, the pond. Oh, and there's that big ravine. You could try talking to Herman Toothrot, the old castaway. I spotted his camp on the south beach. He has a rowboat that'll help you get around the island, but he doesn't like to share his things. You should watch out for traps. If you find any other clues, there's some space at the back of my memoirs. I, uh, never got around to writing the last couple of chapters. Ugh, don't remind me. My name is Mudback on Melee right now. All I miss is Elaine. Ooh, and those nifty figurines. But now that I'm on a real pirate adventure, I'm starting to feel better. Even if this isn't the genuine Monkey Island, it's great to be back. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't get distracted until Elaine is safe and ready to tell me what an idiot I've been. She's going to dine out on that whole legend thing harder than Spiffy chewing on that monkey toy. Spiffy has a very important part to play. You'll see what I mean once you've found the key.
nice having a chance to talk with somebody civilized. It's been a while. Haha, <laughs> I said I was the only civilized person, not the only one. But Chuck and his crew showed up a while back, but civil they are not. And you know what's worse? All those other new ghosts and ghouls saying they're from some Sea of the Damned or some such thing. Sea of the Extremely Rude, that's what I call it. They've been stampeding all over Monkey Island, making off with whatever they fancy and wreaking havoc with the ancient monkey idols. Things got so bad, the island's inhabitants decided to leave. The northern shores are deserted now. Part of Monkey Island's heritage, its soul, scuffed out. <sighs> Such a shame. <laughs> well, at least now they won't be stealing my precious rowboat oars. I've had to hide them, along with just about everything else I own. It's a disgrace, that's what it is. Uh, hey, hey, now, you stay away from there. That's my new base of operations. Well. It will be when I get it finished, now that I finally got the materials. See, a young clown named Driftweed happened along and started to mess around with my primitive art up on the cliffside. Hey, I wouldn't expect you to appreciate my work any more than Driftweed did. That idiot even managed to scuttle his own ship with it. Hubris ultimately leads to calamity, I suppose. It's a metaphor for life, just like all art. Hmm, yes. Very deep, very meaningful. <laughs> anyway, I've been salvaging the wreck of the sea monkey and using it to build myself a real home. A place folks like you can't just wander inside. Oh, I don't think I could bear the loneliness out at sea. I may not like it when folks mess with my art, but at least it gives me someone to yell at. Got yourself a death wish, eh? Well, too bad. The island's inhabitants returned their cotton swab key to its hiding place before they left. I suppose they thought they were doing visitors a favor by keeping them away from LeChuck. But it just meant more trouble for me. I had to find space near here for a secret stash where rampaging pirates, the sun, and a dreaded monkey can't spoil my supplies. Who are you, my Echo? Yes, they hit it. And no, I don't know where. It's probably something monkey related. Most things around here are. Ah, but who cares? I've got my own possessions to worry about. It's all because of that thieving monkey. He's developed a real taste for my chilled banana soup and makes off with whatever he can get his paws on. I must have used up half a driftweed ship to make them. So far, he's always slipped past me and gotten away scot-free. It wouldn't be so bad, but I keep having to reset the traps whenever pirates go blundering into them. <sighs> you keep your hands and your stomach away from my belongings. I said no. Now get out of here. I'm sure you've got pressing business to attend to.
Delicious ripe bananas hanging tantalizingly out of reach. Herman uses a special banana picker to harvest them. He can be pretty resourceful when he has to be. This pond has a history of killing unwary pirates. Ermin Shipmate died here in a tragic accident. And you know, he said they were friends, but I'm not sure they were really that close. Vines, creepers, and lots of monkeys. 
I hadn't found a furry little friend here, I might never have made it to the chuck. That flea-ridden critter got his paws on more of my supplies. That's the sixth time this week. I think. Ah, 
What's wrong with this useless thing? Let's see here. The monkey smells the bait. The monkey steps into the loop. The monkey... Hey! What's the big idea? Somebody get me down from here! Hey! That was tomorrow's breakfast! That was tomorrow's lunch. Don't just stand there. Do something. Now look, you made me drop my key. Leave the trap alone. You're only making things worse. You better not touch my stuff, you hear? Oh, I see how it is. You're not really here to rescue me. You're just another thief who's here to steal my rowboat. Well, good luck using it without any oars. <laughs> You're worse than those good-for-nothing islanders. Can't you leave an old man in peace?
The river splits here. It used to flow just one way, but I used some of Herman's gunpowder to set things right. An act of ecological restitution that got me a free rope. Either this is a poorly balanced pile of boulders, or it's primitive art created by Herman Toothrot. I suppose it depends on your point of view, but the local islanders weren't impressed. I made a one in a zillion shot from up here. Unfortunately, the ship I sank was my own, the Sea Monkey. I guess fine art is harder than it looks.
All right, it's time to open this gate. Come here, Spiffy. Come here, boy. There. Beats taming a monkey. Okay, I think it's time. Take the key and do as nature intended. Yeah, all that waxy buildup can be a little awkward. Uh, sometimes it helps to jiggle it about a bit. This monkey head hides the entrance to LeChuck's secret lair. I really don't see how you'd fit a ship inside, so maybe there's a back door somewhere too. Let's get everyone together. You won't want to miss this. This thing's a little stinky after all these years, but it should still work. It'll lead us through the catacombs straight to LeChuck. Oh, I almost forgot. If LeChuck's crew spots me down here, we'll never make it to a lane. Time for my secret weapon. It's a shame I don't have any spares. If anyone asks, you're a lost tourist searching for the secret of Monkey Island. Here, you should take this. A floating head would probably give the game away. It's all clear. Let's sneak inside. That's the second biggest skeleton I've ever seen. We should be going northeast. I wasn't certain what I'd find below Monkey Island, and I'm honestly still not really sure. These catacombs can be a very confusing place. These mushrooms are actually part of one gigantic organism. Knowing that makes me feel a lot worse. Try not to fall. I mean, really try. I'm gonna start naming these passageways so we don't get lost.
You know, you can actually get a pretty good sound out of these things. Do you think all these rooms have names? You know, like Chamber of Eternal Peril or the Cave of 39 Spiky Rocks. Now yeah, we should stick together. It'll be safer that way. I think it's looking southwest. More molten lava, or is it molten magma? Either way, it's definitely molten. Molten. Mo <sighs> Great, now that sounds weird to me. Suddenly, I'm really craving omelets. Now, yeah, we should stick together. It'll be safer that way. The head is pointing south. Better watch our step here. It wants us to keep going this way. Just like in the legend. I wonder if I can pull it free. Yeah, we should stick together. It'll be safer that way. It's facing northwest. This one can be Dave. Dave the Corridor. I remember this chamber. I nearly got lost here last time. You don't have to be crazy to sculpt something like this, but you'll probably end up that way.
a lesser pirate would have made at least three mushroom gags by now. This would be majestic if it weren't so deadly. Now we should stick together. It'll be safer that way. It's definitely facing north. I don't think most mushrooms are this jiggly. It's upsetting. Yeah, we should stick together. It'll be safer that way. It seems to be pointing east. Oh, and this one is definitely a Nigel. The corridor. Didn't we come this way already? This isn't so bad once you get used to it. Ooh, look at me. I'm Murray, the grumpy talking skull. No? Nothing? Oh well. things smell even worse than I remember. be more of a monkey theme down here. Hey, I found someone's journal. This is LeChuck's handwriting. And it contains all of his innermost thoughts and secrets in an easily digestible format. This is incredible! Oops. Oh well. Easy come, easy go. that kills you. It's the boiling to death. Hey, wait just a second. I think I got sand in my shoe. Ah, there, that's much better. Second 
longest plume I've ever seen. Whee! Whee! In something or someone. This is definitely high on the list of caves I like the least. Now we should stick together. It'll be safer that way. Exploring, give me back the head of the navigator and go face the shark. This was where I spied the Chuck's ghost ship for the first time since it had left Melee Island with Elena. The Chuck's so mean, he even boxes up the ship's rats. stick together. It'll be safer that way. There it is! The legendary phantom ship of the ghost pirate LeChuck. Huh. Smaller than I remember. You better wait here while I sneak aboard and save the land. I'm the only one who Too won't late, dumb part. Caught. Huh. Guess I shouldn't have taken off the necklace. You shouldn't have taken off that necklace. I knew it. And you'll never catch me now. Way anchor, you cretinous cadavers. We've got what we came for. Lane, no. I came all this way to save her. And I let her slip through my fingers. Oh, was I kidding? I'm no pirate legend. Just a guy with unusually spacious pockets. And now I'll never see Elaine again. Oh, Elaine! Because I know you. And because I'm stupid. Henry, 
Very pleased, save this touch and display of marital stupidity for when we're back on dry land. Oh, uh, Captain Kate, I... Uh, listen, about that whole false imprisonment thing. We'll discuss it later. Right now, we have to get out of here. No. No? I know this place isn't real, but the Sea of Thieves is. Ramsey's kept the pirate life alive there, and now he's in danger thanks to me. Whatever LeChuck's planning, we have to stop it. Huh? Huh? You say so. Then get to the cannon, Three Woods. We've got a ghost ship to catch. Maybe you really will become the legend of Monkey Island. If any of us survive, I mean. I don't care how my story goes, so long as you're part of it. Oh, that's so sweet. Now stop flirting and start firing. I think we can bring that wall down.
use us. Concentrate, Guybrush. Chasing us will be the last mistake you ever make. Just a little further. Make it rain, ladies. We have plenty of cannons. Let's use them. No exit. <laughs> no problem.
You'll not see the back of me so easily. That merry chase through the fires of Monkey Island gave me all the time I needed to complete this, my burning blade. Guybrush! I can't move! Let go of her, LeChuck! Never! Elaine has a date with destiny. Two souls together, in harmony at last. Such a pity your friends won't be alive to see it. <laughs> Pirate Lord suspected you could use a little mojo about now. It seems he was correct. Brace yourselves. This next part gets a little bumpy. Yeah. I knew it! LeChuck's taken over the whole town! Head to the church and do what you can to stall LeChuck. I've got an idea, but I'll need time. And a lot of bananas. Ramsey wasn't joking about the true power of the Burning Blade. All the time we were being led around by the nose through those caves, his sword was regaining its strength. And now LeChuck can use it to silence anyone who gets in his way. No matter how powerful he gets, he's still LeChuck. I think we can guess where he's going to head next. With the fog lifted, I was able to find my way back to Melee Island and bumped into Elaine. But we'd already both missed Guybrush. So we stopped by Stan's place and I reclaimed my ship. Along with, lucky for us, Guybrush had left the recipe to reach Monkey Island lying around on his desk. Ramsey wasn't joking about the... I'll be fine. Hurry up and get to the church! tonight to bear witness to the blessed matrimony of Elaine Marley Threepwood and the fearsome pirate LeChuck. Hurry it up, Tripwort! We don't have all night! Crashers, eh? Well, you won't stop me this time. What good are your weapons if I can command you not to move? Resume the ceremony! Do you, Elaine, take LeChuck to be your husband? To mindlessly obey for all eternity? I... I... 
I do. And do you, LeChuck? Yes! After all these years, I do. If anyone here objects to the eternal union of this loving couple, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. I object! Ramsey! Blistering bilge wipes, will these infernal interruptions never end? I found you at last! The man who stole that blade and tried to play at being the pirate lord just to orchestrate this sham of a marriage! Now, let them go, LeChuck. It's over. Over? Ha <laughs> I'm just getting started. By coming here, you've offered yourself to me as a wedding present. And once I've disposed of you, I'll be free to take your place. Your pirate legends will make a fine army for me and my bride-to-be. And Captain Flameheart will never know what hit him. Who could turn down the mightiest pirate on the waves? Oh, my love. How wonderful. You are as brilliant as you are malicious. <laughs> I know. Now, where were we? Um, I ask again. If anyone who actually matters objects to the union of this loving couple... Get on with it, Bookweed! Then, by the power invested in me as governor, I now pronounce you man... Uh, evil man... Uh, no, Lord! I now pronounce you Dread Pirate Lord and... Monkeys? Now's our chance. Let me take the others to safety. I know you have what it takes to deal with the Chuck. Don't let your guard down. And remember, in this world, it's not your sword that cuts deepest. Upstarts, nincompoops, everywhere I go, no matter what I try, it's always pirate wannabes who meddle in my plans and ruin everything! Well, I may have lost Elaine and my burning blade, but I can still have my fun by tearing you limb from limb! Not even Ramsey dares to face me.
shall be my blushing bride. I 
shall rule with an iron fist! schemes. Why does this always happen? Blast it all! I'm the legendary pirate LeChuck. I should get to win once in a while. Why do I never get to win? It makes me so, so angry. So angry, I could just... Besides, being a pirate legend isn't just about the battles you fight or what you accomplish. It's about who you are and all that you could be. True legends know when to take a stand against those like the Chuck, who take all they can and give nothing back. On our sea of thieves, we can do better. Stop by my tavern sometime, and I'll show you what I mean. I have a map I think you'll find particularly interesting. Well, I think you're on your way to being a pretty legendary husband. <laughs> but even if this isn't really Melee Island, I think I'd like to stay for a while. Yeah, me too. Now that LeChuck's curse is broken, it'll be nice to spend time with everyone. Guybrush? Guybrush? 
I brush three wood, hey, it's your own buddy Stan. I have the absolutely 100% A-plus Perfectorino ship for you, my friend. You simply have to stop by my office so we can talk. In fact, if you get me out of this thing, I'll throw in a free valet service. Hello? Skybrush? Anybody? Don't say it. Almost everyone? Uh, it's not just Stan who needs better material. Well, I think a little rest and relaxation is an excellent idea. And when you're ready, the Sea of Thieves will be there waiting for you. I'll see to that. And so will our friends here. Come in, Kate. Just a second. Three foot? Yeah. Not bad. Well, Honey Pumpkin, at least I've learned something from all this. What's that, Plunder Bunny? This view will never get old. You can set sail for home. Guybrush and I will round up the townsfolk and get this place back to normal. Thanks again for coming to rescue me. Hey, maybe I should try those legendary trials too. They sounded pretty fun. Till next time. Thank you. 